Mariano Giardini, teammate of the young man who just fell. He's only 19, is Giardini. Well, as we were saying, the Italians about three years ago were dominating the sport of skiing with Piero Gross, with Gustavo Turney. All of a sudden, things didn't go so well. They're up, trouble right now off there the there he back. goes. Whew, look out. He's really moving fast. Out of control now, slowing down. There you see him. I was starting to say, Jim, that they bring a lot of these young guys on, and they're going to learn the hard way sometimes. Because, you know, you got to get into competition, and downhill, that's the only way you can do it. Giuliano, something has happened to Davi. We saw him standing there. Now he's down on the ground, being ministered to, and people look very concerned around him there, Bobby. Just, he just suddenly, apparently, fell and does not look to be conscious. They're patting his face there, as you can see. I can't imagine what could have happened. You saw the fall. It did not look like a particularly bad fall. Uh, did not hit on the top of his head. Seemed to hit on his back mostly. Slid under the finish line. Well, we'll be right back. You give a man a couple of days to himself and a black... The top of the hill, we have another Italian racer. This is Giuliano Giardini, teammate of the young man who just fell. He's only 19, is Giardini. Well, as we were saying, the Italians about three years ago were dominating the sport of skiing with Piero Gross, with Gustavo Turney. All of a sudden, things didn't go so well. They're up, trouble right now off there the there he back. goes. Whew, look out. He's really moving fast. Out of control now, slowing down. There you see him. I was starting to say, Jim, that they bring a lot of these young guys on, and they're going to learn the hard way sometimes. Because, you know, you've got to get into competition.